Welcome to World History 2, week 4. As always, you can find these videos on your BC platform or Beyond Classroom platform on the Sunday pages. So the aim of this video is to preview the week ahead, briefly discuss topics, and briefly describe what it is that we can expect out of week 4, starting on Sunday the 25th and up through till Thursday, September 29th. So let's briefly begin. So the week ahead, as always in European history, in the first few chapters, the introductory chapters, we start from the European point of view. Our starting point is always Europe, medieval Europe in particular. For example, we've discussed Port the Portugal, Spain, and their connections and contact with Asia, Africa, the rest of Europe, South America and North America as well. This week, we will be focusing on North America and on the English colonies. Of course, the, Brit the British uh, Kingdom was that of a conqueror's mentality. They would, you could think of them as similar to the Spanish conquistadors. We will talk about how they established and grew their colonies. We will also be analyzing the socio-economic structure of these colonies. So what do we mean by socioeconomic? Well, in history, as we've discussed in class, the social structure, economic structure, and political structure are always integrated. So we cannot speak about one without the other. So we will take a, de a deeper look at some of the English colonies that were established in America. Say we will talk about the establishment of Jamestown, the 13 colonies, and we will talk about the European competition for power in North America. So, as we know, major European superpowers such as Spain, Portugal, and Britain were rivals. They had common interests, but they competed for power. So, we will explore these power struggles, and we will be discussing Native Americans. So, we are familiar with Native Americans, uh, but we will be talking a little about their culture, their belief systems, and how their lives were changed in, after contact with the Europeans, after Columbus had reached North America. Moving on, we will be talking about the expansion of the African slave trade. Now, we've discussed the slavery in West Africa. We're not here talking yet about U.S. or American slavery. What we're discussing is West African slavery first. And then we will be talking about something called the Atlantic slave trade. That is when these slaves were captured, traded, and transported from Africa into North America by the English and other powerful nations. So this is what we will be looking forward to discuss. I hope you have a very good week and see you in class.